I kind of like it not knowing exactly what to do because then you become really anal about everything. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice, nice audience, silent audience. That's always my favorite. So yeah, I think it was fun. I played like one and a half song last night and we're gonna try it once more tonight. We're just uh, you know, figuring out how we wanna play it and it's okay to like try it out on audience, <laughs> you know. Though it's always hard for audience to listen to new songs when they haven't heard it, but I think it's also really important when you know that it might come on the album and uh, just so people get it in the ears and stuff. So, yeah. I'm excited to see how it will go. Yes, <laughs> I'm excited to see how people will be. So, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be great. And I've only made one album, so this is so next shows when I'm going to make the new album, I will probably always add new songs to like the set. So because like the last album, I just uh, you know it, the album came out and then I started traveling, so I didn't really try out the songs beforehand. So I really have an experience with that. The play is kind of about uh, our relationship with news and how we react on news and uh, to what what news react we react on and how we can like become the news and you know all that. It's a so it's a it's a puppetry show with. Uh, Two puppeteers, they're uh, manipulating a bathroom most of the time. So they're like two, uh, one, one has one hand here and one has one, th one hand here, and uh, the bathroom is hatless. So it's, uh, and the, and so it's kind of surreal and weird um, approach to um, uh, this subject. So we worked it all together, like we made the script as we went, you know. So it's, yeah, and there are two shows left, and then, then we might take it to London or something and maybe somewhere else. Yeah, I'm doing the music and all the soundscape. Uh, yeah, yes, I did that. And I'm also on the shows, like, doing the... because it's really detailed. Uh, we have a lot of, like, detailed, like, we have pop-up, you know, um, and stuff. So so everything is really, like, really um, sensitive in a way. So I'm, I'm doing the cues. And maybe if we bring it to uh, somewhere else, I'm gonna, like, um, rehearse something live. I was gonna, I was planning to do that, but you know, since there was a little like a, not that much time, I kind of just decided to record everything and and now queuing stuff. But I think I want to rehearse it with. Uh, it's more fun to do stuff live, you know. Otherwise, you just sit and you're like, <laughs> and you might want to change something, it, and it, you can't do it because um, it's pre-recorded. So, but it's it's really exciting, really really nice, and we've got like great reviews and stuff. So. I just want to improve my singing. <laughs> I want to, like, uh, everyone has their own voice, and, like, your voice sounds differently from everyone else, you know. So, um, I think uh, that, um, you know, my, my process from the EP to the LP uh, is different. I, like, I can hear, like, how different the EP was, like, um, from the LP. I think I'm like, oh really grown up here so I think like the next album will be you know now I'm singing a lot and then you improve you always improve it you always learn how to, or, or I hope so <laughs> you learn how to improve your technique and how to sing and when you go on tour for a month you uh, have to have a voice that works I mean of course it gets tired and I, I, I don't have really a strong voice so it's a uh, it's a uh, gets quite hard sometimes for some people they're all like sing louder but I can't <laughs> I have really soft voice but I'm trying <laughs> I recorded uh, the drums in a uh, studio in uh, the swimming pool which is like the old zero studio but everything else I recorded uh, either at my house or at Sindri uh, studio and I mean I, I have never um, I've never learned how to record but of course you learn by doing it's it's a lot of that kind of process but 
you know, I, I really want to also improve my um, knowledge in, in like those technical stuff, like how to place the mic, because, and you also just learn it by like, you place the mic somewhere and you listen to it and you're like, oh, let's try it here. And, you know, it's just a, a lot of um, like detailed work, how you, how, how, um, how you record. And I think when you, when, like when I, I probably record differently from any, anyone else because I just do it like how I think works, you know. And, and, and then like when, when I, if I record just like how I record, then maybe it sounds more like me or something, I don't know. Maybe I can like keep my style by like keeping that. But I don't know how I will do next up. Maybe I will like have someone to help me out. Or, you know, I'll see. I'm just too selfish. I just want to do everything myself. Tell me about this amazing piece of photography there. You can that up to the camera. Yeah, talk us through that. What was that like to shoot? Well, there was no cat, I have to say. It's photoshopped. <laughs> but it's a nice cat. He's called, uh, his name is Toppy, or Tobias, or Tobias. But there were hands and um, flowers and stuff. So it's, um, it was kind of a theme. There are like four different musicians uh, on the cover of this grapevine. And yeah, it was fun, and I and I. Um, it's a nice dress. Uh, it's um, some really expensive design, I think. <laughs> and uh, it's not mine though. But I, I'm I'm probably selling at, at least two of those dresses by wearing it. So <laughs> no, it was nice, and I I, I like cats, so I like the cat. Um, Cat being on the in, on the picture, and he's really I really enjoy his face. Like <laughs> I had a cat, but he died. I I've never cried as because uh, it was run over by a car, and I saw it, so I kind of it kind of hurt my soul so much that I, <laughs> you know, well that's life. He was a nice cat. I loved him a lot. <laughs> no, he's probably running around somewhere in Kitty Heaven. <laughs> yeah, so.